Hello everybody, this is Mr. Dean. Let's talk about mods. I got two I want to talk about. First is Extended Managers Library Beta. This is a beta mod. It will do things to your game. There is a very important bug notice. You cannot use all 81 tiles. And if you try this on a map that's had those 81 tiles or unlock all tiles, uh, it won't work here. So pass over that. But if you're starting a brand new map and you don't have to use all 81 tiles, you're cool with just using 78 of them, hey, dive right in. Like Extended Manager's Library regular, it does remove the 65k prop limit. But this one will also increase prop rendering speed, and if you hit Control l you'll see the limits in the game, like how many citizens you have, or vehicles in use, or trees in use, and how close you are to hitting the actual in-game limit for that. So, it's called Extended Manager's Library because it's going to extend more than just the prop framework. There are a lot of incompatible mods. For the record, a lot of these mods are also out of date. Prop Anarchy replaces a ton of mods. Bob replaces several mods. Others are, well, they're just old and out of date. And with what this mod will do, this mod will give you 81 tiles, well, 78, and unlimited outside connections, and unlimited outside connections revisited. That will be some good stuff there. There will be other ones that are coming into a new framework. You need to get rid of those out. Remove pipes. you got to get rid of that one, but I felt that was okay to do because it's coming into this mod as an option. The Electric Roads mod is not needed, and Remove Need for Power Lines is not needed. This one will actually make your roads electrified. I love that. You won't need Cross the Line. That's already in this mod. And you don't need Rotterdam. So, Or, well, it should be compatible, but sometimes it makes an error. Anyway, I don't use it, so that's fine with me. However, overall, this mod allowed me to remove quite a few others and I'm very pleased with the functionality I've gotten from it. At the same time I'm using another mod and it's called Game Anarchy. Let me back up and do 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 do. Oops, let's go to the query here. There we go. Game Anarchy. And let, <clears throat> Game Anarchy. There we go. <laughs> so this one does loads of things. You will get the automatic return to desktop. You can automatically sort your mods. You will automatically skip the intro. You will have unlimited unique buildings. It will be able to shut off pollution along with other things. You have unlock all contained in here, unlimited ore. You've got money anarchy. I'll show you what that looks like. This is really cool. This allows you to toggle on and off different functions in the game, hence the title Game Anarchy. You don't need to have instant return to desktop sort settings. Both of these are ones that I featured recently. Well, now I don't need them anymore. The skip intro, yep, I can guarantee that when I fire this up, I don't have the intro panel. It just goes straight into the game. I love that. The not so unique buildings, well, it's already in here, so I don't, don't need that old mod. The ones that deal with pollution, drop them. The local mods for unlock all, unlimited money, and oil and ore, turn off the local mods. It works better. In fact, there's a thread down here about having some problems with a few things, and it's the local mod being on that stepped on it. But this has got loads of cool things, including income anarchy, cash anarchy. It's got the unlock all achievements, in there so that's that's another mod that I didn't need to have turned on it doesn't it's not really income well okay call it incompatible you don't need it get rid of it <laughs> it's great stuff here but this also allows you to toggle all kinds of city services here so if you don't want to play the game with those you don't have to so rather than have a bunch of mods that do all those things have one big mod that does it and does it well so let's take a look at the game all right I'm gonna go over Drop it out of display capture. Here we are, game capture. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. 
Extended managers, the settings, you have the ability to toggle on and off electrified road, and the maximum outside connections. It doesn't yet have a pop-up for this. I believe that'll be coming later on. But you also get control L and you get to see your stats. Really nice. So that's extended managers beta. Then game anarchy, here's the options that go with that. Wow. Yeah, if you want to be able to earn achievements with mods, click that. What milestone level do you want to unlock to? So let's say you're starting a game and you want to have everything that goes with Busy Town, but nothing after that. Okay, there you go. Select Busy Town. There you go. The default is to Megalopolis, which is the standard unlock all. I like being able to have granular choices on which level I want to unlock to. I've got my intro skip. I can turn off different kinds of pollution or garbage or criminals or dead people. I've definitely removed fire. That works great. And that also meant I got rid of my mods that dealt with fire. Maximize attractiveness and entertainment and land value. These mean, well, you don't need the Eden Project for one thing. And for another, it gets rid of all the low land value error messages that will pop up. This actually maximizes the values. I didn't maximize education coverage because I want to have schools and work with that. But if you don't want to, there it is. Resource options. Here's where I can set my oil and ore capacity. Again, make sure you have the vanilla mod turned off, disabled. Right now it's at 100%. Never run out. If I make it slower than 100, it will eventually run out. I don't need to do that, though. Auto cash. So if I go below a certain threshold, it'll pump up some more money. And if I hit the Control shift m I get the 8 million caches. That's nice. I don't have to have it that much. I could make it be where I hit Control shift m and only get 1 million or 500,000. I think that, Yeah, 500,000 is the lowest one. So there you have. And this one I like, the economic income option. I just made everything four times as much profitable as before. No problems with cash anymore. Yay! I'm one of these people that just likes to see a positive cash flow. I, so I do it. You know, I, I, think, I, I think it works fine for me. If I don't want it, fine, I'll turn it down. But if you have unlimited money, what does it matter, right? Anyway, it, it, it allows you to play the game you want to play it. I don't have to defend how I want to play it. I play it the right way for me. You play it the right way for you. Okay? The key binding, you can change it if you want to. And, of course, they have a little support page in case you need to check on things. But it's a really cool mod. Game Anarchy and Extended Managers. Both of these are beta. If you fire these up and you point them at an existing city and things go weird, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have done that. Do these with a brand new game and enjoy and explore because both of these are where the game is heading. If we come back here to the display and we go to the Steam page, you, you will see important people involved in this modding here. You see Chameleon, sign of a good mod. He's involved in this for the extended managers. Chameleon is involved in that one, too. He's the one that said, hey, you should do with these mods and get rid of a bunch of others. I've gotten rid of about 12 other mods and run with just these two. It makes it easier. There's less mod to load, less processor to run. That means the game has more resources available to it because I'm not bulking it down with all these other mods that, do the same, that did the same things. It's now cleaner and more streamlined. So Game Anarchy and the extended uh, limit mod. That's the one I want. Where'd it go? Ah, I have to type in the... Uh, yeah, extended managers, I think it was. Or it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, extended managers library beta. All right, extended managers library beta. The regular one... It's still there. It still does certain things. It will bring up the, the the limits. It will get rid of the 65K prop limit. 
it does increase prop rendering speed, but it doesn't yet have the 81 tiles in there. So, <laughs> but anyway, the other limits of the game that can be changed are going to be changed in Extended Manager's Library Beta, and when that becomes mainstream, that's what you're looking at. That's what you're going to see coming forward. I think it's a great opportunity. I think if you want to hop on the City Skyline Beta Train, do so with a new game. Keep reading change files on them, but it, it makes a lot cleaner game. So give them a go if you got a new game started. Extended Manager's Library 1.1 1, uh, 1, 1 and Game Anarchy 0 0.6. I hope you have a fun time. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you later.